it's been in everybody's head ever since I started this. On that note, hang on. Crank this up here. Oh my god. But no, welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This game is so little and cute. I have not played this in a long time. Um, it's very cute. We're gonna just gonna take a, a quick a, a quick look a quick look at the game. Um, so I know it's getting a bit late for some of you guys probably. So I don't want to keep you up late, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, look how cute this is! What we're playing right now is Red Rescue Team. Um, this was the one of the, I can't believe this game came out in 2006. It's crazy. Is that what it said, 2006? That's nuts. Anyway. Um, this is Red Rescue Team. It came out at the same time as Blue Rescue Team. This was the Game Boy Advance version. It was also, um... A DS version. As far as I can recall, they're basically the exact same game, except for the box art. Oh right, Pokemon and, and Neckerchiefs. I have to show you. It's very important. The box art is really super cute for these games. Uh, sorry, I should have pulled this up in advance. Um, Red Rescue Team box art. And all the official promo art that has, like, you know, all the, the rescue teams, it's really cute. And I believe there were, like, little animated shorts, um, which might have been what Kit was referring to. Um, about the Mr. Dungeon, and they are, looked really cute, too. I've never actually seen them myself, though. I want a decent quality picture. Why can't I find a large copy of this picture? Google! Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Look at these Pokemon wearing neckerchiefs! I feel like it came out at around the time when the DS was still, you know. Oh yeah, I tried to get the hair tie. Okay, and so now let's go look at at the uh, oh, I like the Pokemon shadows. You see like the Metacham and the Ekans and the Charizard back there. That's a cool touch. Because um, you could see them, you know, that's because there's the Metacham over there on the corner there. Anyway, now let's go look at um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Box Art. What the shit? Oh, this is what I wanted. Whatever, Bubblepedia will have the answer. Leave it to Bubblepedia. This game is really cute. Really cute. Really, really cute, really cute. Don't read it. Spoilers. Anyway, these games are really cute. Pokemon and Chiefs, super cute Pokemon, cute game, cute Pokemon, let's play it. Now, as I mentioned in the chat, and for those of you who have already played this, you already know, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, you, uh, you 
pick your character by answering a personality quiz. So it's kind of like a dragon quest, dragon warrior quest, dragon warrior quest! Five, I believe it was? Five, three, four, whichever one it was that you had to pick, you, that your personality is picked at the beginning. But, I mean, your character is based on it, but it has... It changes your appearance. I don't think it actually really changes your appearance or anything. I think it adjusts your stats and how characters react to you in Dragon Quest. Anyway, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. We will be answering this as a group. Let's work together. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. Wait a second, why am I reading this? Hold up. Mom! Can you come read this? Oh, when you get done? Okay. She's in the bathroom. But when she gets back, she'll read. Help us read. All right, this is the portal that leads into the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Do you dream of lounging around idly without much excitement? Yes or no? My answer, yes. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't drink, I like, you know, I like excite. I like there being excitement, but I do like to lo lounge around. I dream of both excitement and lounging. Why can't I have both? Or can no love those? I don't dream of I I don't dream of No, you got a tie. I don't know how to answer this one. Do you dream of lounging around idly? I do like to relax, but I think I'd rather have something to do. Personally. I don't dream it as much as I live it. No overanalyzing, gut response. Ah, oh, you're right. Okay, okay. All right. So we've got two two yeses, two noes. I need boogie and. Joe's response. Your cat is not a valid voter. All right, looks like the nose have it. Okay, Kelly, the question is... The question is, do you dream of lounging around idly without much excitement?
All right, so we've got yes, yes. And then no, no. We've got four yeses and four noes. I mean, three yeses and four noes. Right? Whatever, we'll just give it to no for this one. Do you feel lonesome when you are alone? Yes or no? Spoilers if we don't like it. If we don't like it, we can always change it, but, you know. Sometimes you'll end up trying, because there, there are different questions it'll ask, and you won't get to see all the questions in one play, in one thing. Um, but sometimes you'll find that even if you answer a question, if you get to the question and end up getting the same answer, it, it leads you to the same outcome. Do you feel lonesome when you are alone? I do sometimes, but generally speaking, no. The road forks to the left and the r to the right and left. You are told there is treasure on the right side. What do you do? Instantly go right. It and then it's a trap. Go left, and then choose either side. Well, knowing the high mind, we always go left. But I will leave it to you. We're told there's treasure on the right. Do we instantly go right? Think it's a trap and go left? Or just pick either side? <laughs> you, just, you break yourself in half. You just walk straight down the middle of the two roads. No, I assume that that means you really don't care and just kind of pick whichever. Hey, Mom! How are you guys doing? We're playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon! Who's playing? Well, I'm playing, but we're all, we're, you have to pick a, you have to pick a, we have to, we have to do a signing, a thing. We have to do a personality quiz to decide what kind of Pokemon we are. Oh. There's an alien invasion! What will you do? The options are fight, run, and ignore it. I don't like any of those options. Well, you can't, I mean... Okay. I would, I would actually, you know, shake its hand and say, hey. Well, you don't get that option. Long time. You don't get that option. I've been waiting a long time. I know you, you would, Mom, but that's not an option here. Okay. Uh, you ignore. have fight, run, and ignore. Ignore. No influence, and you're not allowed to influence the other people. They're supposed to give their votes. Oh, well. <laughs> ignore it. Will Smith will save the day. It's true. <laughs> okay. He, he's got it in a good term. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, aliens invading? That's fine. That doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. It was expected. This will play out on its own. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I have been expecting Okay. That for have a you while. ever made a pitfall trap? Yes or no? A what? A pitfall trap. You know what that is, right? Yeah. yeah. That's well, outside of Animal Crossing, no. Hmm. <laughs> in real life. Well, I mean, are these like answer in real life questions? Yes! It's asking it's asking you to this is the okay. realm between the world of Pokemon and real okay. life. Okay. But before we enter it, we have to answer some questions. All right. Okay. Sadly, no. Is this like a group consensus? Yes, yeah, because I mean, because we're deciding. This is right. This is like going to be the group Pokemon. Yeah. Have I ever made one? No. Have I ever have I ever wanted to? Yes. Do others often call you childish? Yes or no. Childlike, maybe. Childish, no. Childlike, definitely. 
Okay. I never. Okay, bye, mom. Bye. Oh, oh, yeah. I never see it outside of, I never see pitfall traps really used outside of like, you know, gags and like anime and things like that. Do others often call you childish? Yes or no? I think we might be split on this one. Because I am, yes. I mean, I'm both, I'm both mature and really childish at the same time. Oh no, are we split? Joe! Joe! If we include me, we'd be split. But people don't call me childish so much, they call me just weird. Carrie, you're just strange. <laughs> you, you're just a strange person. Yeah, we can make a safe state. We can see what we get when we, we can cheat the quiz. Teenage-ish. There is a wallet on the side of the road. Or a road. Your options are turn it in to the police. And then, yay, yay! And then, is anyone watching? We pay, I picked yes for that one and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Turn it into the police. Yeah, yeah. And is anyone watching? I would turn it into the police. And I would think that you guys would too. You gotta answer honestly, though. I won't judge you. Anytime I find anything lost, I always try to find the owner. Santa is watching. It's the summer festival! Do you like carnivals? The options are love them! And then don't care. What's the difference between yay yay and is even watching? It's it, it, they're both different ways of saying to take it, but that it, it shows a different aspect of your personality depending on how you um how you respond. Okay, so those two yes. I would in theory, but they're hot and noisy and lonely and overcrowded, it's true. Kind of crowded. I like carnivals. I like carnival games. And carnival food. Mmm. Turkey legs. Alright, so I think we're tied right now. If we include me, it'd be yes. Um, I don't think we got one from Bag Tree. Um, did we get everyone else's? Spooky Night Carnival. That sounds hella legit. The festival that you see, the summer festivals you see in anime and stuff always look like they'd be a lot of fun. Catching 
catching goldfish in bags and whatever. That would make quite a time of it. Okay, they would don't care. So we'll go with that one. <laughs> I, 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 I like them, but I don't love them. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, Joe, you're kind of outnumbered here. But I will let you guys pick whatever way you want to go. Like I mentioned in the chat, um, whatever Pokemon, whatever gender you pick will, uh, determine, like, I think that there are different types for each personality for boy and girl for a couple of them. I want to play as a boy. It's up to you guys. I don't care. You could pick. You could pick whoever you want. Anonoko. You appear to be the sassy type. You tend to be somewhat cynical. Despite that, there is something appealing and lovable about you. I'm, the look on the smile on my face, I bet you could hear, you, could you hear that smile in my voice? I feel like you could hear it. I was always really surprised by how on point mine were. But, do you occasionally say something arrogant that angers others? Do you make that mistake? Or are people called you conceited, vain, or selfish? Have people said that about you? Huh? You're telling me to get lost? Why, you come here and say that! <gasps> I'm sorry. I let my feelings run away. I truly regret this, really. Anyway, your cool and aloof attitude is what defines you. It makes you exasperating and appealing at the same time. A sassy person like you should be... The Pokemon Torchic! This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose from the Pokemon you want as a part you want as your partner from this group. You have Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Chikorita, Totodile, Trico, and Mudkip. Say that to my face online. Pikachu is really super cute. I mean, their personality is going to be the same regardless. You're just changing, you just fix who you play as. <laughs> what was that even supposed to be? Is it Sensory Mud Camp?
Why is it censoring mudkips? Apparently, apparently the user map doesn't like mudkips. All right, there was a there was mud two votes for mudkip. Oh well, I mean you don't really need a lack of pop knowledge. Um, we do want to cover our weaknesses. It's true. We are a fire type. You're saying so many swears. <laughs> my dead my. My 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 kip dis. All right, my kip gets it. My kip. What is your partner's nickname? You don't have to give a nickname. P2 or a grass type. Wait, why P2 or a grass type? Aster Gaster's DKI. The infamous DKI. Piper. I'm gonna let you guys think that I have to go let the dog out. Please have a nickname for me when we return. I was all summon my mom. Why else is there? <laughs> if you if you don't want if you want we can think about it and come back because I know you guys need it's it's getting late. <laughs> there is an ellipsis character. I will read all of them as he lifts though.
alley stair. Damn, it's too big. I can't DKI. A small bird. Ellipsis. Yes, let's call him Ellipsis. Alistair D. You can just call him, call him Ali D. Ali D. Am I? Or DKI, rather. No, I'm probably just Alistair if you want, but... But why, though? Why why this? Other than it being a charming name. That's all I ask of you. Ellipse is confirmed for our name, though. That's really cute. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, I remember now. That's why. That's right, 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 right. Okay. It is a cool name. We're doing it. I was, like, I was just trying to figure. I knew that there must have been some reason that we that it had to do with us, but I'm like I couldn't remember what it was. Okay, cool. Now we know. It is decided. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it! Boom, boom, boom. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a, a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please, wake up. Let us all imagine our market partner has a cool accent. What kind of accent are we talking about? You're finally awake! Great! Where is this? I was just already living up to her name. I wasn't gonna say anything, but yes, exactly that. Who's this? You are passed out there. I'm glad to see you awake. Pokemon can only say their own name. I'm Alistair. Glad to meet you. Look at his face! He's so cute! And you are... I've never seen you around before. After we get this, uh, this opening part taken care of, I'm gonna stop because I wanna hang with my folks. Um, and we'll have gotten the we'll have gotten the difficult part out of the way. Huh? 
Look at their faces! I love their faces, they're so cute. You're a human? <laughs> but you look like a normal torchic in every way! <laughs> it's true! I've turned into a torchic! But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. All of them have the the expressions of all the partners are really super cute. Wait, that's J. Elengibus! <laughs> We're not naming ourselves Slim Shady. <laughs> Overruling that. Oh. Ellipsis is your name? Well... <laughs> it's a funny name! You're a funny name! Get bent! Somebody, please help me! Huh? I hear shouts from over there. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, it's true. Ellie for short, yes. I love Mama Butterfree! What's wrong? It's horrible! My Caterpie fell into a cavern! My poor baby! What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my Caterpie fell in! He's too young to crawl out by himself! When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me! Huh? You were attacked? My other Pokemon? He must be enraged by the fissure and out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Tiny Woods. Basement floor one. Head for the destination while attacking foes with A. Try not to let a partner faint. This is a roguelike! So you go one step at a time. You can see our map here on the screen. I don't actually remember which way gets us to where we need to go. So we're just gonna- OH LOOK AT SOME PIDGEYS! Let's fight some PIDGEYS. The music in here reminds me a bit of, um, Earthbound. It's kinda got that, that jangly quality. Of Earthbound and um, Paper Mario, those it's that it's that synthy sound there. You just gained twelve experience points. Whoop whoop! We both gained twelve experience points. Hey, look! There's the way down. Pick up 22 Pokey! Pokey is the money in this world! Collect and save it to buy useful items! Beating up birds with more birds! What if they were goodies that I missed? I'm always worried about missing goodies.
I know that your baby's in da in terrible danger and all, ma'am, but we're just gonna go crawl through this dungeon a little bit longer. Oh, a sun fern! How do Pokemon have their own currency? <laughs> Where did Pokemon just change? But actually, it's, you'll see, it's, 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 here's a whole Pokemon barter system. Stairs, info. Stairs leading to the next floor. If you're on the final floor, you will escape from the dungeon. Good to know. Thank goodness it told me what these stairs are. I was not sure otherwise. Foes won't move until you do. Open the menu with B and think before you act. Which is my B button. Well, that wasn't the right button. What do I have mapped to B? There we go. We can talk to him! Let's talk to Alice and see what he's up to. Let's keep at this, Ellipsis! Cute. By the way, the things you say to them will change depend I mean they say to you will change depending on how much health they have left. Which is charming. I think that your partners might change in more situations than that, but your general any other Pokemon you recruit, their dialogue will change depending on how much health they have. Oh, and also like when they level up or when they faint. Nah. Dang it, man! Whoop whoop! Let's go to level six. Yay! Yes, level up. It makes me feel chirpy. That's so dorky. Alistair grew to level 6. Alistair learned Mud Slap. Alright, level up time! There's nothing for us down there. Mud Slap reduces accuracy. We're also doing a slight uh, ground damage. So basically, you're throwing mud in the opponent's face. Right? That's messed up, isn't it? Your team regained HP as it moves. Hold B and then press A to recover HP quickly on the spot. Caterpie, Satterpie, look at Satterpie. You. Uh. Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I didn't know how I could ever thank you properly, or I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. 
It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Alistair. And this is Ellipsis. <laughs> look at the look at its little face! I love that little face. Up, kid. Cool. He's uh staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Alistair and Ellipsis! I know it really isn't enough, but please, this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. This is team received the Promise Orin Berry. Team also received the item Pekka Berry. Pecha Berry. Team also received the item Rost Berry. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Um, quit saying my name. Listen, Ellipsis. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Well, this is my place. I love this tune. It's so cute. Wow! I can't explain, but I'm happy! I'm a human being, but I like this place! I feel weirdly happy! It might be like an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail? It doesn't matter, I'm happy! Maybe it feels that way because I'm Torchic. Oh, Ellipsis, you're impressed, aren't you? By the way, I believe that the way that the house looks depends on what type of Pokemon you started. Because I feel like mine had a more watery, it was like, like a little pond. Yeah, I think it changes depending on what kind of Pokemon you are. Which is weird because this is the one that is Alice is the one who lives here. I was sure you would like it. But whatever. Alistair, Alistair digs the fire pits, you know. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from Pokemon here. You know, just like in the, just like the Fisher Caterpie fell into. For some reason, there have been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so that all Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh... Well, I like how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on, on a rescue team? Ellipsis, with you, I think we could be- We could even become the world's best rescue team! How about it? You want a former rescue team? Refuse. What if it's if we refuse? Huh? Oh, what? Eclipsis, I'm sure the two of us make a first class rescue team. Oh, look at that little warbling face! So come on now, let's form a rescue team together. Oh, look at his face! Please! Oh. Perfect! That's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Ellipsis. Glad to have you on board. The team name... well, I don't have one yet. So, Ellipsis, 
What do you think would be a good name for us? Well, obvious choice would be Hive Mind. Hives. Team Wobble Face. Team action movie. Cool starters don't look at explosions. Hive mind! Look at his little sparkling eyes! His itty bitty sparkling eyes! I like it! It's a good name! It's perfect for us! Rescue team hive mind! Let's do good, starting tomorrow! Look at them! They're both in a cute little pose! And that is how... Ellipsis and Alistair began their careers together... as a rescue team. There you go, gang! Welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon! And with that, we're gonna call it an evening. Wait, hang on, I think there might be a tiny bit here. The next morning, we'll get to where we save for the first time. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Torchic. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? <sighs> I don't understand this at all. Jeez, you scared me. Good night, Mom. You want to see us? We're adorable. We're a Torchic. Oh, that is adorable. I feel groggy and sleepy. Well, you should go to sleep. Which we're gonna do. Not feeling well. We got turned into a Pokemon. We're a human. I need more sleep. Could be turned into a lot worse thing. It's true. Good night. Good night. Love you. See you in the morning. Good night. Mom. How do I save? I don't know. She's right there. Okay. I only want to sleep. I'll rest in bed. What? Lame. You say by by going to the bed. Oh right, I should tell her. Mom, mom, mom. This reminded me to tell you that we named our character Ellipsis. Ellipsis. Because there was an ellipsis symbol on the keyboard. I mean, on on the on the options. Like, that's just a single period, but there was an actual ellipsis thing. We were like, we should just name her that symbol. And we were like, but then I'm going to have to read it as an ellipsis when I go to sleep. So I was like, just call her ellipsis. So, ellipsis. There you go. They wanted me to tell you that. Cool. Yeah. I'm like, good night. She thinks that's cool, and she loves it. Say failed? What? Well, screw you. Make a safe state. I don't know what's up with that, but we'll we'll figure that out tomorrow. I think that it might be something wrong with the ROM. Okay, but for now I'm gonna go to bed.
Good night, my Tomodachis. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, good night. Please have a wonderful. I'm actually gonna make a save, a hard save too, just in case. See you on Thursday.